tonight on Highway Patrol. Jake, a speeding motorist just won't stop, and the police are using everything they can to get him off the road. Senior Constable Russell Warner's checking out a burnout hotspot around midnight. Plenty of burnouts around here, so he's definitely an idiot. No joy, guys. It's one of those things, as we keep saying, right time, right place. We're getting. Six to leave that. Could have been due on uh, Geelong Channel heading our way up on the highway. Are you able to cross over to Channel 0201 and get an update from there? The chase is down 155160. Roger. We'll head that way then, sneak up. Just uh, going to head uh, Princess Freeway way. Just got a call from uh, Geelong Channel. There's a pursuit in progress heading our way just past uh, Avalon, heading Melbourne Bam. The female driver fled a checkpoint in Geelong, and police have been pursuing her for more than 40 kilometres. Just been informed that this is an imperative pursuit. Uh, imperative means that she's got to be taken off the road. She's too much of a risk to herself, other road users. It's imperative, we're going to do our best to stop her. Stop six, whatever it may be. Yeah, 611, uh, she's in the centre lane. The two or three cars in front of her. Uh, they all pulled out of the well, but she's got both the outside lanes. Speed 130 now, and still in that centre lane. Senior Constable Russell Warner is moments away from reaching the police already in pursuit. But how will they get a high speed driver off the road? that this is an imperative pursuit. Uh, imperative means that she's got to be taken off the road. She's too much of a risk to herself, other road users. It's an imperative. We've got to do our best to stop her. Stop six, whatever it may be. Senior Constable Russell Warner is en route to try and head off a reckless driver who's being pursued by police. With several police units in pursuit of the offender, it's Russell's job to try and get ahead to cut her off. Receive 617 also, it should have stop six. Yeah, 617, I'm the northern end of the uh, Mulby now, so I'll just pop here if that's what he wants. You got any um, stop six on you? Yeah, fam. At the intercept point, Russell's next task is to deploy stop sticks. These will deflate the driver's tyres safely without the driver losing control. Yeah, 617. As soon as I see he's flashing lights, I'll throw the stop sticks out so he can back off. I've left my blueies on so you see where I'm popping. I'm popping in an emergency turn. Basically, she's travelling the middle lane. She's uh, come all the way from Geelong. She's crashed the booze bus site. It's what we call an imperative pursuit where we must sort of get her off the road. The guys are chasing her. As soon as we see the blueies, I'm going to run out, throw the stop sticks out. We'll run back here. Hopefully, she'll run over him. It doesn't always work that way. And hopefully, the units behind will back off and not run over her as well. Uh, Roger, she's down to 115 at the moment, centermost lane, three northbound lanes. Traffic's still right. 611, uh, she's got to be at 400 metres before the next cars are in front of her. 400 metres, 400 metres, beautiful. With only radio updates from other units to guide him, Russell's challenge is to identify the car from all the others coming towards him. Is she coming up behind her? 617, stop around the corner, he's there in the corner. I need you to stay near that radio so I can hear. This is Russell's first time with the stop sticks. With the pursuit approaching him at over 100 kilometres an hour, timing is critical. Police units are conducting an imperative pursuit of a white station wagon. Yeah, 617. As soon as I see he's flashing lights, I'll throw the stop six out so he can back off. I've left my blueies on so you see where I'm popping. I'm popping an emergency turn. Running from a compulsory PBT stop, driving erratically and speeding is a lethal combination. So Senior Constable Russell Warner has been deployed further up the highway with stop sticks to puncture the offender's tyres.
The offender's car is now safely disabled. Unfortunately, so are two other vehicles. You took out two police cars? I think I did. But the cost of a couple of tyres is nothing compared to the damage this driver could have done. I think I might have taken out a couple, so I might spend the next half an hour changing tyres for the guys. Kind of uh, just came out of my hand and there was no way I was running out in the middle of that stuff to go and get it, so obviously it's worked. Yeah, it worked. Sure, the tyres have been taken out and she stopped what, within half a K of where, where it's deployed, so that's what they're there for. Apart from me not retrieving it. A couple of fellow mates are, well, it's even going to cost me a few beers or change the tyres. Can't hurt either way. Good to get her off the road, she's obviously intoxicated and as I said earlier, she's crashed the booze bus site, so imperative which means basically we go till we get her off the road. She's too much of a risk. Uh, we've chased her from La Trobe Terrace at Geelong, which is 57, 58 k's from here. She's um, been over all three lanes, but miraculously, she safely passed every vehicle yeah. and just kept coming. And the only reason we didn't keep going into Melbourne is the fact that she hit the stop sticks. So the bloke put out the stop sticks did a good job? Well... If you include my car, oh, yes, oh, I did. Kind of uh, just doing my duty now, since I'm responsible for this flat. I'm the first bloke in the office to actually use them, so I don't feel too bad now. And it worked. Next time, yeah, pull those sticks in quicker. Sorry about that. I changed the tie for you, it's all good. <laughs>